Hello, good to be with you again. Today I thought I'd share with you some of the piggyback operations on my layout. We open up with a picture of Southern Pacific's train out of San Francisco, the Coast Merchandise East, which will be heading on its way down to Southern California, LA. Uh, this is train number 374. It was nicknamed the Zipper because these trains were given very fast schedules. Now, I am no expert in this field by any means. I can share a few things that I've learned over the years about less than carload freight and how the railroads, particularly SB, jumped into the mix of providing that service. Pacific Motor Trucking, with their very attractive trucks and trailers painted in daylight red and orange, provided the means of picking up goods from the customer's door and getting them on their way to deliver door-to-door -door service to their customers, wherever they were. Here we see a couple of pictures of older trucks, but a real neat paint job. Even Pacific Electric had trucks painted in this scheme. Uh, so that little road was part of the mix as well. And over the years, of course, these trailers and trucks wouldn't last that long, so they were replaced. And newer versions, painted in silver, with a red band around them, and the Southern Pacific logo emblazoned on them, took their place. And we see a train line full of them. Very attractive indeed. So, welcome to my end scale layout. Here we open up our scene with an Alco S4 pulling some cars off the tracks on King Street, pushing them onto the rest of the train to be made up for that evening's run down to Los Angeles. The trailers on these flat cars were loaded at a ramp in between King and Berry Streets. They were loaded from the north side of the train, so coincidentally, all the trailers always faced toward San Francisco. So, a rather easy way to figure out direction on these things was simply look at the trailers and see which way they were facing. This was true all up and down the road because they would be loaded and offloaded in L.A. in a similar manner. So they always face toward San Francisco. In the last move before departing tonight, our little Alco switcher assembles the train for the Coast Merchandise East tonight. And we see it pushing down the last bit of that train all together to await its departure at about 3.45 in the afternoon, I believe. Tonight's train will be powered by three F3s, products of EMD. They're going to leave the Mission Bay Roundhouse, work their way down through the yard, and find their way back to their train for this evening's departure. I don't know how accurate I am with this. Um, this train was pulled by F7s that I know of, and later on in the fi later 50s, uh, GP9s pulled this train. Uh, but tonight, I'm going to run F3s just because they're up and running and ready to go. Here we watch our consist backing down to its train. Uh, the three 1,500 horsepower units will be more than ample to haul. I think I've put 30 cars together on this train, so I should have no problem traversing the run down to L.A. this evening. As many of you probably know already, pretty generally known, this is the Coast Merchandise East. It's given that direction heading because it's heading away from San Francisco. 
which is Southern Pacific's milepost zero. All trains heading on the Southern Pacific, heading away from San Francisco, uh, were eastbound trains. Anything heading towards San Francisco was westbound. This was really interesting because regardless of where it was geographically and what direction it may geographically been running, if the trackage was heading toward the city, it was a westbound train. And conversely, an eastbound train if it was heading away from town. Of course, the trailers are all headed north toward San Francisco. And again, uh, just kind of an interesting part of this whole operation. Uh, no matter which direction the train was going, those trailers would always be heading toward San Francisco. This train, having a second nickname besides Zipper, given to it because of its very fast schedule overnight run to L.A., actually had a second name, a nickname, Ghost. John Signor provides some explanation in this in his book, the Southern Pacific's Coastline. He says that legend has it that perhaps tramps first named the train the Ghost when they saw the moonlight reflecting off the sides of the silver trailers. An awesome thing to see, I would imagine, but perfectly apt and a fitting description. Here we see the train going through 23rd Street Station below San Francisco's Potrero Hill, heading south out of town. We'll watch as these beautiful old trailers, I'm sorry to see them go, but we'll watch as they pass through the station on their way down out of San Francisco. The Southern Pacific painted eight cabooses in this service, trailer on flat car, in the very striking silver scheme, mimicking the trailers it would follow. Here it enters into Tunnel 1. Emerging from Tunnel 2, our F units now have the train well underway on its overnight run to Los Angeles. A very sharp pair of eyes I might just spot an SD9 sitting in the yard below there, waiting for some fuel, painted in the SPSF merger scheme. Yeah, look hard, but uh, there it is. As I'm kind of set the scene in uh, about 1956, Anything you see on the layout with a bloody nose scheme is uh, out in the distance in the future a little bit yet. But forgive me, uh, just a little modeler's license and uh, no room to find a place to put them. So they're out there. I hope you can forgive me. And wouldn't you know, no sooner than I've said that, here we see three F7s in the bloody nose scheme, as well as a couple of SD7s wearing them gray and red. As our F units come out of the tunnel, I have to offer up a little explanation here. On my layout, uh, this is normally north of San Francisco, up the north coast on the northwestern Pacific. But here, we're going to pretend this is farther down the coastline. Uh, as the coastal range uh, pretty much looks quite a bit alike up and down California with dry grass and the oak trees, we can just 
pretend <laughs> once again we're heading down we're getting on our way down to LA here And again, probably a good sharp eye on the left of the screen is kind of a giveaway here. One of my Petaluma and Santa Rosa Railroad GE 44 tonners is uh, sitting there as <laughs> we watch our train head to LA. Forgive me, but a little modeler's license. Probably bigger and more obvious is my Santa Fe car float in the foreground there, tied up at the apron. So anyway, now that I've drawn your attention there, um, yeah, concentrate on the hills. <laughs> Looks better. And for the rest of this video, I'll just ask you to go along in my make-believe setting. Even though it's situated on my northwestern Pacific, we are indeed pulling the coast merchandise east, south to Los Angeles, California. So bear with me as our train passes through uh, some, of, some of the northern California aspects. But believe me, we're on our way to L.A. We'll get there. With that, I think I'll quit talking and just let you use your imagination for the rest of our trip. Thanks for watching.
So if I haven't put you to sleep by now, I certainly hope I haven't wrecked your evening sleep. But instead of counting cheap, perhaps we can all count trailers. Thanks again for looking in.